Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Joshy Rotten from California. Posthumous regurgitation we finally get to talk about. Fuck yeah, and we have exhumation of cadavers for research and consumption. Absolutely disgusting American gore grind from California. I love this stuff. This is actually the band's theme song. Technically, it's the band's title track. Posthumous Regurgitation. I really regret not getting the full length when Head Split had it. Like, this shit is so fun to listen to. It's so sickening. And I've been a fan of it for a minute now. But like I said, I slept on that full length and I've been regretting it ever since. Joshi must have read my mind because... I didn't ask for this or anything. Like He never was like, hey, do you like posthumous regurgitation? He just sent it over. This is the Till Faith record Records uh, first edition. It's great. Like, if you like gore, can't go wrong here. Six tracks of pure, heavy as fuck filth. I love this stuff. It doesn't sound like it's from America. Like, at first I thought posthumous regurgitation was French. Like, I really did, because France, for some reason, has a lot of gore grind bands. And they're all, well, not all of them, but a lot are really fucking good. And this just really reminded me of dead infection. So I just kind of thought, I was like, all right, this band has to be from a different country. And then when I found out they were from California, I was like, I'm an idiot. Like, holy shit. This rules. But no, seriously, this shit fucking rips. But it's not for everyone, and I know that. But this is Vital Vinyl Vlog. We're going over fucking gore grind because it's Vital Vinyl Vlog. It's what we do here. If I like it, we're going to talk about it. Now you might be asking, but you've been listening to a lot of Hawaiian indigenous black metal, dungeon synth, and all this other stuff. Where's all that? Well, <laughs> when you only put out 10 cassette tapes of your like full length, it's kind of hard to get copies. Because <laughs> a lot of my favorite dungeon synth and black metal artists, it's like that. Like seriously. If you're not on it, you're, it's gonna sell out, and it kind of sucks. Like, one of my favorite black metal bands right now, thanks to Dutch Pierce, man, they're like this indigenous Hawaiian black metal band, and it's like absolutely my shit. It's one of those black metal projects, like, they have this rehearsal from June, and Normally, I don't listen to music on YouTube, but like in my, I don't want to call it my hospital room, but in my room downstairs, I have like a Roku set up and it has a real nice like speaker system. So yeah, I've kind of been enjoying certain releases on that. And yeah, 
a couple of days ago, it was just kind of funny because I saw in the corner, because I, I was listening to um, the debut by Last Days of Humanity, and out in the corner, I saw the posthumous regurgitation full length. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I forgot about that band almost. And then when the mail came, I was like, oh, shit, because this came with this slab of filth. Oh, yeah. Engross. So we'll be going over this tomorrow, probably. But real quick. If you don't love it, I understand. I really do. But if you don't like posthumous regurgitation, don't try and tell me you like dead infection. All right? And that even goes for corpses of the universe. Oh yeah, this was meant to be a mortician split, which would have been awesome if it would have come to actually happen, but sadly it did not, but I'm left with a very sick EP, Corpses of the Universe, by one of my favorite gore bands, Dead Infection. From Poland, you sh if you don't know Dead Infection, go watch some of my three videos going over their releases but like if you watched my year end video one of my favorite releases of the year which fuck of course I lose track of it but fucking melting rot blood delusions like with a bullet too it was just on the money when it came to just like having that dead infection vibe to it but still being something different and same goes with pharmacist but pharmacist is their own thing like a hundred percent right now i'd say especially coming off of carnal pollution which was more like necroticism error carcass but pharmacist have developed their own like thing that's not just pathologist, hemorrhage, the obvious suspects. Pharmacist has something very special happening, and I really just, they're one of the best bands when it comes to gore, and just, I'll stand by that. But, yeah, posthumous regurgitation, if you dig, like, hemorrhage also, like, fuck yeah, you will really, really dig posthumous regurgitation if you like melting rot especially the new record blood delusions oh yeah you're gonna really like posthumous regurgitation this shit's sick and this was released on till faith records head split did the full length i don't know who, if anybody put it on vinyl or anything but dylan if you're watching this please reissue that bad boy that'd be sick but Thank you to Joshi. To me, this is some top shelf gore, but I know, like I said, it's not for everybody, and I understand that. But if you like gore grind, go listen to Posthumous Regurgitation, Exhumation of Cadavers for Research and Consumption. Thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Keep it sick. Stay safe. Hails. <laughs>